this is the case of Maistina Gavis. Uh, this young patient presented with bilateral tosis for the last four years. We will see some signs in Maistina Gravis. First of all, the eyelid fatigue already test. Uh, in case of eyelid fatigability, if the patient uh, looks upwards, that is upward gaze, the toss is gradually increasing. Uh, this is called eyelid fatigability test. When the patient moves upwards, there is upward gaze, the tosis gradually increases. Uh, this is called eyelid fatigability test. And now we will see the lead twisting sign. First of all, we will uh, ask the patient to look downward, that is downward gaze, followed by upward gaze. Uh, in during upward gaze, after the downward gaze, uh, the upper eyelid overshoot. This is called lead twisting sign. Look at the face, 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 look at the face. Uh, there is overshoot of the eyelids. First of all, we will ask the patient to look downward, that is downward gaze, followed by upward gaze. During upward gaze, there is overshoot of the upper eyelids. There is overshoot of the eyelids during upward gaze. This is called lead twisting sign. Now we will see the curtain sign. In this curtain sign, if we afflict the on eye lid, then the opposite tosis increases. This is called curtain sign. Uh, there is compensatory increasing tosis on the left, left eye. There is compensatory increased tosis on the right eye. This is called curtain sign. Now the peak sign. In this sign, uh, we ask the patient to tightly close the eye. As there is weakness of the orbicular oculi muscles, the patient could not tightly close his eyes. Uh, he cannot tightly close his eyes due to weakness of his orbicularis oculi muscles. And this is called peak sign. Look at our eyes. Our eyes are tight. 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 There is partial closure of his eyelids. This is called peak sign. These are the very diagnostic sign in myasthenia gravis. Thank you.